my company is called the Pedal Heads Group, and we run programs for children's health and wellness, but specifically we do recreation-based instructional programs. So I started this program way back in 1986 when I was 25 years old. Initially, the hardest thing about my business is that I require specific types of facilities in order to operate it. And it started with swimming. As I exhausted all my sources to find pools, I realized that this was not really um, a long, sustainable process. And so at that point, I diversified, and that's when I got into biking. And as it turned out, the biking part of the program, the pedal heads, is the part that I've really been able to develop and expand to the many different regions and areas. So we now operate programs in 80 locations in 10 cities across Canada and in the United States. The fiscal year that we just completed, our revenues were just over $11 million. The way that we've been able to grow is that we rely heavily on word of mouth. Word of mouth is essential because what we are doing is a service related to people's children. It's their most precious thing that they have and they really need to be able to trust an organization. So parents rely heavily on one another to get the word out about what, what is good and what is bad. What appealed to me about being an entrepreneur was I realized very early that uh, there was a glass ceiling in lots of ways, and not just related to women's opportunities, but just opportunities to be creative. I saw entrepreneurship as a way to just throw my ideas out, reach for the stars and, 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 and get make the limits that I wanted to make.